What's up guys? So in my last video I reviewed the uh, sand litter recurve and in this video I'm going to review the longbow. So it's uh, the same exact kit. You get a half dozen arrows, uh, your shooting glove, your arm guard, a stringer, uh, string silencers, this is the manual, and, um, and the bow of course. The bow comes with a D97 Flemish twist string. Um, it comes with a leather grip and the arrow rest material is already installed. This bow is 68 inches long. Um, it is 40 pounds at 28 inches and it is made out of American hardwood um, and fiberglass. So, you may be wondering what the benefits um, of shooting a longbow would be over a recurve, and there is some. A longbow tends to be quieter and easier and smoother to draw. Um, they're a little bit better, some would say, for going through the woods hunting and not getting caught up as much in the brush, but it is a longer bow. Um, I believe this is a flat bow design. When you unstring it, it's just perfectly straight and flat. Kind of like a Howard Hill style bow. I'm not super familiar with long bows. This is actually the first one I've owned um, with this design. But it's essentially same concept when it comes to shooting it the form and release and all of that is the same um, so what I'm gonna do is just shoot it and see how it shoots and I'll show you a few different angles of the bow while it's functioning but you can go on their website and purchase this bow uh, for a hundred and fifty dollars and it comes with everything you need to shoot it um, It's the Royal X8 hunting Longbow kit and I can put the link uh, below the video But let's shoot it and just see how it does All right, so I'm just gonna take a few shots uh, It does come with feather fletched arrows and that does allow you to shoot directly off of the shelf. So, here we go. And the first thing I really notice is how easy it is to draw this bow back compared to even a 40 pound recurve, just because of its length and design. There's a little bit of hand shock. I mean, I'm not real far away, but that was a pretty dang good grouping for the arrows that come with it. No tuning. Um, so yeah, let's get them arrows again. All right, let's shoot this again. I have owned a deflex reflex bow in the past, a few of them, and I really like them. It allows the long bow to be shorter with its design, uh, but I've never owned this style of long bow, but I'm liking it. It is not center shot, I don't believe, so the arrow's really got to flex around that riser. Um, and that's why I'm kind of hitting to the left. You got to get used to that. I am shooting instinctive. Um, very, very smooth bow. It's got a little bit of hand shock, but that could be adjusted out with uh, just playing with the with the brace height. 
I haven't really played with it a lot, but yeah, it's not horrible. All right, so now I'm just gonna show you a few different angles of the bow uh, functioning. So from the side, All right, so my final thoughts on the Longbow by Sanlita. I think that everything I've received from them has been very well made. Um, I don't see any defects in this bow at all. It is very smooth, like I said, to draw. And I think that a Longbow would almost be better to learn with than a recurve. Um, just simply because of how smooth it is to draw and shoot and get to your anchor point um, But that's totally up to you and You know for 150 bucks, you're not gonna find a lot of decent uh, bows in a set that comes with everything so Yeah, I highly recommend the longbow and the recurve So I hope this video helped you uh, decide if you was thinking about getting this bow and uh, if you don't care give me a like and a follow and I'd appreciate it thank you guys thank you Sanlita